Good day everyone, this is Mikaela Makler Vecinia taking Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in TLAHK. In this video, we'll tackle about the artwork of Fernand Ledgers that has a connection or contribution to science and how it affects the youth. Around 1909, Ledger began to paint in a cubist style. Although his composition and his mood are more colorful and curvilinear than works by Braque and Picasso of the same period, with their angular forms and subdued tones, an artist with far-ranging interests and talents, Ledger later became a designer for theater, opera, and ballet, as well as book illustrator filmmaker, muralist, ceramist, and a teacher. Fernand Ledger's 1919 sketch for the railway crossing. Picture above shows the abstract painting of Fernand Ledger's. Shows a complete shift in a way in which artists use the depiction of objects. This shift draws us more personally into the artistic world. These works, scientific and artistic, are personally challenging because these ideas involve us more personally and more abstractly. They help us to focus in the impact of internalization. This internalization includes the observer and the painting, the student, the chemical theory and the driving forces of nature and human activity. Rail transport or the train transport is a means of transferring passengers and goods on wheeled vehicles running on rails. Without railroads, the world would be an altogether different place, from foiling the Industrial Revolution to actually shaping the physical landscape trains have left an indeliable mark on the world and the people in the country. Taking a look at historical trends since the birth of the stream locomotive, it is impossible to overstate the industry's importance today. Since we do need our railroad, let's take care for this so that our vacations, our day-to-day -day life became easy. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something on our discussion for today. God bless, goodbye, and stay safe. Mwah mwah.